I'm Ansel Kersan with the March 5, 2007 edition of Cisco. We lead off today with the good, the bad, and the ugly. The negotiations between three unions, which represent workers of the North Orange County Community College District. The unions are the California School Employees Association, representing the staff, the United Faculty, which represents full-time instructors, and adjunct faculty, which represents part-time instructors. Accusations against the Board of Union, busting and money laundering, and charges of seeking cheap labor. AFU has agreed to contract this year while the UF is heading toward impasse and mediation. CSEA is already at impasse and in mediation. If the Board and the Union choose not to accept the settlement, the mediator refers to case to a fact finder where a series of fact finding hearings are held. Afterwards, if a settlement isn't reached, there is a possibility for a union to strike. On a similar note, United Faculty vows to give negotiations one last try in order to solve two hotly contested issues. Negotiations between full-time faculty and the Board of Trustees are near the breaking point. Recently, NLCCCD received an increase of $12 million in annual state funding. They also have around $32 million in the bank left from previous year's annual state funding. A survey was held among UF's approximately 500 members on whether or not to accept the board's last, best, and final. Approximately 62% of UF members responded rejecting the board's final offer. UF's most crucial requests are 7.5% increase in regular salary and increase in fringe benefits. The amount of money is $3,000 to $4,000. The board's current offer is a 7% increase in regular salaries with no increase in fringe benefits. U.S. request amounted to $600,000 $600, annually of the above the board's offer. In other news, Go Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has signed a law which will ban all handheld cell phones while driving. The idea that using hands-free devices while driving was intended to make driving and communicating safer. Although the law has been approved, Californians have a while until it is imposed. Starting July 1, 2008, the rule will go into effect. The penalties will start small from $20 for the first offense, but will increase sharply on further infractions. In a financial note, President George W. Bush signed into law an increase in the Pell scholarships. Pell, the increase is expected to take place in the 2007-2008 enrollment periods. Democrats have kept their promise of making college more affordable for students and their families. The amount awarded to students will be determined by their financial needs and their status as a full-time or part-time student. Although more work needs to be put toward increasing the Pell Grant, this is a great beginning. In other news, students wishing to study abroad in Spain this summer are invited to two orientations meetings March 7th at, at 3.30 p.m. and March 15th at 2 p.m. They will be held in Humanities Room 241. Olga Mor Moran, Cypress College Spanish instructor, is leading the trip to Nurja, Spain, where students will earn transfer credits while studying Spanish. The students are scheduled to live in Spain from June 30th to July 28th. The Cypress College Foundation's annual fundraiser was held February 24th at the Disneyland Hotel. The 23rd Annual Americana Awards, coordinated by Gail Taylor and a 12-member exe executive committee chaired by Bill Wastenberg. It was hosted by Sid Garcia from KBC Channel 7. It generated over $120,000 that will go towards scholarships, emergency grants, book loans, and other campus programs. Bill Medley was honored as man of, the, man of the Year for his years of service and dedication to various charitable organizations. The 33rd Annual American Awards is scheduled for March 1, 2008, so mark your calendars. Thank you for downloading this, this edition of C-Scope. This is Andrew Kristan wishing you a good day.